rearranged a little bit. Okay? And this is not a recent thing. People say, oh, well, maybe that's you know, the Neo-Gregorian. No, this, is, this goes back as early as we have manuscripts, 9th century. As er it's called re-employment of melodies or re-adaptation. This is the earliest thing we have. So if it's wrong, it's been going on a long time. Uh, look at the canticles of Holy Saturday, for example. Some of the most beautiful chants you'll ever sing. You'll ever sing. Canticles of Holy Saturday. It's the same melody four times. Same exact melody four times. Um, now, it's used constantly in hymnody. And maybe next year I'll do a whole week on this. Because a lot of people don't understand this. And Catholics didn't understand this for a long time. For whatever reason, Catholics didn't put the hymn tune name until I believe Vincent Higginson was the first one to do that. I don't know why they didn't, they just didn't. And hymn tune names are confusing because then they used to take a lot of tunes from German, but then when World War I happened, then they changed all the names because they didn't want to have a German name, just like they you know, would take dash hounds out and you know, kill dash hounds and they wouldn't eat sauerkraut and all that stuff. That went on during World War I. So that confuses matters. Because it was hard enough to, be, to begin with to know what a hymn tune was. And then when you start changing the name, it becomes even more difficult. 